Hello, my name is Fernando and I've tried to make this very simple video uh, to talk about a little bit about body reading. And what is body reading? Body reading is to look at the body and see how the mind shapes the body. How different experiences in life shaped uh, the way we see life and how that affects our body. And that's quite easy and simple to see, for example, when you are stressed and your shoulders get tense and contract and lift uh, or how your belly gets tense when you're feeling anger or maybe fear and and you look at people and some people gain weight too easily and other people lose weight too easily some people gain weight only specific areas of the body and I've seen people that they only lost weight when they were able to uh, identify or make contact with the, the make contact with the content that was being that was being stored in the body so there is this intrinsic relation between your mind and your body and body reading is very interesting to that uh, and you may say well that's genetics but we know nowadays that genetics is highly affected by the inner chemistry in, your, in our body and our inner chemistry is highly affected by our mental and emotional states. Okay, so having said that, I'm here to talk about two simple concepts in body reading because body reading is a very simple but vast uh, subject but everyone can be trained to look at their own body and understand more about themselves. And I want to talk about the concepts of undercharge and overcharge of energy. So if you think about undercharge, what do you have in mind? Words like weak, lacking something, empty, not enough. And if you have overcharge in your mind, well, I think of uh, too full, about to explode, too much so you can look at your body and you can look for areas that are undercharged weak or empty or lacking something in areas that are overcharged too full or about to explode or too big uh, and that will give you some different perspectives on your body and well, let's, let me give you some examples. Some common undercharged areas are the ankles and the calves close to the ankles and your wrists and the upper chest. And some common overcharged areas are the thighs and hips and upper back and shoulders. And what do you, what can you do about those areas? How can you help them uh, become more balanced in terms of uh, amount of energy well with the undercharged areas they need to be charged so they need uh, nourishment they need uh, strengthening they need uh, anything you can think of uh, that will nurture and strengthen and sp expand that area so if you think about your upper chest you can think about breathing consciously consciously in your upper chest and letting the upper chest expand and what about the overcharge well it needs to be a bit discharged to get to a balance and and if you think about this chart it's about expression and movement and movement like a flow if you think of water flowing it's more that kind of movement uh, experience of pleasure with that movement so what can you do? For example, you can go for a massage. It's a good way uh, to massage those areas that are overcharged uh, and allow the energy there to be uh, moved and shaked so it can uh, flow easier. And of course, undercharged areas in your body represent undercharged areas in your life and overcharged areas in your body represent overcharged areas in your life. So you can also think about that. What areas in my life are lacking something a bit empty, a bit weak? And which areas in my life uh, are overcharged? 
with too much about to explode and the body affects the mind and also the 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 mind affects the body and if you work with your body and if you help your body move and become to a balance between uh, too much charge or not much charge it will also affect your life well, I hope you can have fun looking at your body and looking at those undercharged and overcharged areas and some areas that might be with a nice charge, not too less, not too much. And if you have any questions, let me know. See you.